welcome back to the real story. Um, sorry, I haven't been around for a while. I, I've not been able to do any uh, gameplay videos, really. I've not had the time, new job, stuff going on. So uh, I have really just wanted to come back and try and do the uh, the House Lots Work series and try and um, add to that a little bit. So hopefully I'll be doing that a little bit more over the coming months. But this one uh, specifically was actually a request from someone on a forum. I figured I'd turn it into a video. So they basically said, how can I see the um, the results of a game before it plays out in the graphics? Uh, and you can do that by looking at the communications between the client and the server. So I'm just going to show you how you can do that. So the first thing you want to do is be logged into your casino of choice, preferably for fun play um, or in a, on a casino that will allow you to do fun play. So it doesn't cost you anything to do this. Um, I can't do that on PlayZ, so I've got a balance in there so that I can show you this video. In Chrome, you want to go to uh, the three dots in the top right, more tools, developer tools. That will pop up a window, which we will attach to our screen here. And you will see there is now a load of information. Make sure you select the network tag uh, tab up here. This will give you a load of information. Basically, every single one of these is a request that your browser is making to the internet or to a server somewhere and getting a response back. So if we uh, if we look at this um, and say, for instance, if I on the left, I go to uh, the top games. Um, actually, let's just refresh the page. There we go. So you see a load of stuff coming in. Uh, if I click on one of these, that's a, uh, there we go, roulette, European roulette, and I click on preview, you'll see there's the image. So on this page somewhere will be a European roulette, there it is, image. So that is the image being requested from the server and returned back to me. Sometimes you'll get these types of kind of get param or something like that. Um, and again, you can see a preview. If you click on the response tab, that formats it a bit better. Um, and this is a sort of a data as opposed to an image. This is a data request. So this is saying my lab game codes um, and it's returning uh, Jaguar Gold, uh, Bushi Sushi and Piggy Riches Megaways. I think that's because if I click on click on the my lab tab there, you'll see I've got a couple of games in my lab that have been tagged. I don't know why these games are in there. I don't particularly like them, but they're there. So you can see that's Bushi Sushi, Jaguar Gold and Piggy Riches. So this is basically just telling the page these are the games that you've got um, in your lab section. Okay, so let's uh, go and have a look at a game. It's going to be the second time I'm recording this because the capture stuff didn't work before. So if you see the balance is different and stuff, that's why I've done it once already and I'm doing it again. So let's go in to Book of Dead. You can see there's lots of stuff going on on the right hand side here. Now the Stuff we're interested in, I mean, all of it's interesting. You can see you've got the, a lot of the graphics, you've got even some of the sounds um, from uh, from the game loading in. The stuff we're interested in is um, this stuff here. So you have to kind of look down and find something that's kind of related to the game and, uh, and the network you're playing on. You can see this one says uh, bmtflyplayandgonetwork.com. And what comes through here is some information. Um, in this response. So you can see you've got RTP value of 96 and that'll be used to sort of set the, uh, the, the help text and, and things like that. Um, and then you've got some other numbers, 768, which you'll see relates to our balance. Uh, sorry, 798, which relates to our balance, £7.98. Um, there's a few other numbers there, uh, which we don't really know what they mean. But we can tell that this is related to the game because you've got the balance there, you've got the RTP value there, so that's what's going on. So if we know that that's coming from uh, bmtflyplayandgonetwork.com, we can now add a filter up here called bmtfly, and that will filter down all of the things that we want to look at just about this game. You can see we've also got some of these blank ones coming through that just keep sort of ticking on. That's just the, the heartbeats or keep alive um, that the game is doing in the background to check that your, um, that your session is still alive. Uh, you, you know, you'll notice if you leave a game for too long, the session will drop. So that's what that's doing. So let's uh, do a spin and see what happens. So you can see we've done a spin and a request and a response was made immediately. So what we have is uh, we have a bunch of numbers up here. Um, we have uh, some numbers here. We have again the 788, so that's half balance. Um, these numbers up here are the real uh, symbols. So I think the first five, I don't know what they do, but then after that, um, zero is the 10, three is the king, four is the ace, Eight is uh, Rich or Rick, whoever the hell it is. Um, 
two is the queen, four again is the ace, so you can go along uh, all of these and ma match these to the symbols they're displaying. Then there's a bunch of sim uh, a bunch of numbers at the end, which I don't actually know what they are. Um, they're probably the um, the reels that are uh, the symbols that are displayed while it's uh, animating, or maybe the ones that are above and below, the ones that just sort of make it uh, so that it's an accurate representation of what the real strips are. But that's very, you know, very, very simple communication there going on. The server is saying, these are the symbols I need you to display. Um, this is where your winnings would appear. We'll show that in a minute. No idea what that one is. Um, and then this is what your current balance is. So let's spin on until we get a win. Put it up to 20 feet, just in case we get a bonus. Because you never know. There we go, we got a win. Right. So you can see we're now on the gamble. So if I click on here, you'll see that the balance line has disappeared. So this is what you kind of have to do. Um, when you're looking at this stuff, you have to compare previous responses um, to see what changes. So you can see here, if I flick between these two, you can see all these numbers are changing. So that's how we know that these are relating to the symbols. Um, if I look at these two, you can see that the there's a line that's different, that the balance line has gone. That's because we've got a gamble. We haven't decided whether we're going to win or gamble yet. So it can't tell us what our new balance is until we've, decide, um, we've made that decision. But you can see that it's telling us so far we've won 10p, um, which we know. Um, so if we then gamble it, uh, let's go for a red, oh, black. You can see that now it tells us what the balance is um, and it tells us there that we, we lost our money, that the numbers went to zero. So that's what's going on uh, in, in Book of Deadland. Um, if we were to get a bonus, for instance, you'd probably see um, these numbers being quite high, the result of the whole bonus. Uh, Playing Go might do it on a spin-by-spin -spin basis. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not going to sit here and try and find out because it, it could take me ages to get a bonus. But um, it's uh, it doesn't really matter whether they do the whole bonus after you click spin and, and you'll be able to see the whole result there or they um, they add it up on a spin-by-spin -spin basis really makes no difference. Um, it's all determined by the random number generator. It's just a case of whether you generate, you know, 10 spins uh, of random numbers all at once or whether you generate one at a time and show them one at a time. Uh, the result is, is, is the same either way. Um, okay, so what we'll do now is I'll jump over to a Big Time Gaming Game and just show the difference uh, between um, kind of different uh, providers and how they do their communications differently. Righto, so let's take a look at Wildflower. So with Big Time Gaming, they use this um, this URL here, and it always has this dummy equals in it. So again, you can put a filter in for dummy equals and see what's going on. And they use XML for their responses, so we can see a, it's a kind of a bit more formatted information. Uh, some of it's easier to read, so you can see the real balance, the bonus balance, because I've got two pounds of bonus money, um, and, uh, and my total balance there, which is my seven pound fifty-eight. Sorry, it's a bit cut off. I had to move things around a little bit to uh, to make the recording software work. Um, and then you can see we've got a message ID of init. So this is the initialization message ID. Um, there's a bunch of information in here that I really know what it means, but the one that is uh, obvious is um, on, uh, so you can see, where was it? There it is, balance. Uh, uh, bonus balance, I think, is is what that one is saying because that's our two pounds of bonus balance. AB is probably actual balance, seven fifty eight. Um, so you can see there's various numbers in there that that relate to things uh, that are going on on the screen. If we go on to the next one, you'll see that this one says message ID real strip. So this is actually where they're sending through the whole real strips, all of the real strips that the game uses. Um, for uh, for the various bonuses and and all of the reels that you see on the screen, so you can see it's a very very long bit of information. If you're interested in knowing what the details of some of that are, I have posts on the uh, Casino Grounds forums and on the Casino Meister forums um, where I've uh, pulled out the reel strips for uh, Danger, High Voltage, Lil Devil, and Wildflower, and done some analysis on them, uh, so you can sort of see you know the. Uh, the probabilities of getting certain bonus, uh, certain bonus types, and certain wins in certain bonuses, and what the best symbols are on um, on uh, what's it called, Gates of Hell, and you know the one on here with the sticky wilds, kind of got a beautiful thing or something like that. All of that information is in those those forum threads. Uh, I'll put links in the description down below. So uh, feel free to go and have a look at that stuff um, because you might find it interesting. But 
for now, let's run on with a spin. So you can see as I press the spin button, these two appeared. One of these is going to have the response in, and there it is. So now you can see we've got a message I bet. So this is about us placing a bet. Um, and we can see a bit of information about what's going on. So our ID is the, um, I believe it's the real strip ID, uh, the real set ID. So we're on real set zero. I think there's like 14 of them for this game for all the various bonus rounds and things. Um, N real ID is uh, next real ID, which this game doesn't use, but I believe Danger High Voltage does because you can have different real strips uh, on different spins of the bonus. Um, BPR, don't know what that one is. Um, RB, don't know what that one is either. RS, this is real stops. So 38, 72, 79, 63, 72, 115 are the stop positions on these reels. So each of these reels is about 170 symbols long, something like 174 symbols, I think. And so these are the real stop positions uh, that the um, that they are actually stopping on. I don't know if it relates to the bottom line or the top line, but, um, but it is the real stop positions. TW is total win, I believe. So you can see down here, again, slightly cut off, but uh, total win is 12 pence. Um, WC is the, uh, I believe it's winning combinations. So you can see we've got two different winning combinations. We've got um, the uh, wolf symbol and we've got the um, the queens and they're flowing through through the wilds. And then we've got these WS, which is uh, I think the, the winning symbols or winning stops, don't know what it stands for, but it basically gives all of the combinations of ways that we have been, um, that we've won on. So you can see this first one, We've won six pence, which is the six pence there, and that's the uh, the wolf symbol. And you can see that we've got um, a one, a zero, and then minus ones. The minus ones relate to symbols where uh, reels where there was no symbol. So that's uh, four, five, uh, three, four, five, and six. And then one and zero relate to the symbol positions that were winning on um, the first two reels. So you can see. Uh, it's zero index, so zero is the first symbol, one, two, and three. So number one here relates to our number one position, our wolf. And this one is zero because this is a wild, uh, so it counts as the top one. Likewise, over here, we've got uh, number one, which is our identifier. So this is um, winning set zero. This is winning set number one. Again, it was a 6p win because we got 12 uh, pence overall, two lots of six. And then it's three, zero, 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 because we've got number three down here, zero, one, two, three, and then a wild zero, the queen at the top zero, and the queen at the top uh, wild zero. So that's just telling us positions. If we had like 128 ways of queens, for instance, you would see 128 different sets of these telling you every single different combination of ways that you've won on. So that's uh, potentially quite a lot of information. Um, there's other bits in here, multiplier zero, if that was a times eight wild, that would probably say multiplier eight. Um, WM might be winning multiplier, for instance, a wild multiplier, one and one, because they're both ones. Again, if that was an eight, that might be an eight and then a one. Um, current total win, 12, so we can see what that is. Uh, the base game wilds, so it's telling you where, um, you know, the, the wilds appeared and uh, I guess what symbols they, they're replacing. Um, there's a lot of information in that in there that I'm not going to go through. Um, and then this one, VA, is the actual uh, set of symbols that's on the screen. So uh, if I remember rightly, 8 is a jack, 0 is the wild, then 7 is the queen, another 0 is the wild, 5 and 5, ace and ace. And so you can just move them across and then you can actually start to see what numbers relate to what symbols um, on the on the screen. Um, again, we've got our balance, the actual balance, £7.50, so that's what our balance is. Our bonus balance, which is still £2. Uh, an SID, which is probably session ID. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's that's all the information going on there. So if we do another spin, we'll probably get a loss. I did get a loss, so we can oh, times eight. Quick times eight with queens, nice. Well, let's have a look at the times eight then. Let's see if the multipliers go up. So, where are we? Uh, okay, so the multiplier 1 is still there, so that's obviously used for something different. Um, the WM as well is still 1-1, one, one, so again, that obviously isn't wild multiplier. It might be that it's unused for this game, uh, it might be used on some other game. Um, it might be for the bonus round where the, the, the wilds grow. Uh, honestly, it's, it's, hard to, uh, it's hard to say what the information is used for, unless you're the people who made the game.
uh, but it doesn't appear to change uh, in any way. Just trying to see if there's anything in there that relates to a potential multiplier, but it doesn't appear to. So um, let's do a spin until we get a loss. There we go, there's one that's a loss. And so we should see now that there won't be any... Um, so there's no winning combinations. You see the, the WS stuff has disappeared because there's nothing in there uh, about any, any winnings or anything like that. Um, so that's how you can go through uh, and quite easily see the communications the game is making um, and, and track it to stuff. Uh, it, it's much easier for me because I used to make these games for a living. So, you know, it's it's I, I can relate this information to what a game developer might need it for and what these things might mean and what the terms might mean. It's going to be harder for you if you don't have uh, that experience, but you can work stuff out uh, fairly easily. Like if you know your balance is 774, look for 774. If you know your win was uh, 20p, look for a 0.20 or look for a 20. You know that that stuff um, is going to relate pretty easily. Um, and then the, the symbols and things like that, it, it's always going to be a long stream of numbers. You just have to sort of do two or three spins, compare them to each other, compare them to what's on the screen, and you can generally work it out pretty quickly. Um, each, uh, in big time gaming games, each spin, even in a bonus round, that is done as a separate request. So you won't see it all generated up front for a, a big time gaming game. You will see one request for each spin. So if we were to get a bonus here, you would see one of these coming through for each and every spin in the bonus round. And then the last one would be telling you what your uh, what your final winnings were. So it does depend on the um, the implementation of the game, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's generated um, up front when you click the spin button or if it's done spin by spin. Uh, it's it's all the same response. It's all done by the random number generator. It's all based off the math model of the game. Um, so it, it means that it's it's uh, it, it's all random and it's all above board, regardless of whether it's generated up front. It's just an efficiency thing. Um, but it also shows that you know hitting the stop button uh, is not going to do anything um, because you've already seen the result. You already know what the result is before the graphics display. So if your game has a stop button, which they don't in the UK anymore, but if they did, pressing it has no impact because you've already gotten the result and you can see it here. Uh, and that's it really. Just quite simply going through uh, a way that you can view all this stuff. Um, as always, please like and subscribe if you like the content. Uh, leave any comments below if you've got anything uh, you want to ask or any questions. Um, and I'll try and do a few more of these videos going forwards um, to flesh out this series. But until next time, catch you later. Thank you very much.